Welcome back to a brand new Coffee Tech Break with Jan. Good to see you back on my channel again. Of course, I got another great video here coming up. And that is that I wanted to show you the Studio X52 in combination with BYOD and not BYOD with uh, you got that USB cable and that HDMI cable at the table because that was uh, what we used to have before like USB A and an HDMI cable now what I want to do today is show you the USB C hub uh, and combine that all together the HDMI and the USB to one USB C cable which in this case can also supply power for the laptop and it can even supply networking to the laptop just anything you need and you want to supply of course the USB-C hub has a power supply and so I will uh, connect that and then I will connect uh, the cabling to the X52 and the HDMI which will go into the HDMI ingest uh, of, the, uh, of the Studio X52 I will connect that all together now first off let's look at the hp usb c hub so the usb c hub is a very simple device it brings together all the connections it's even interesting for your home office and it brings all the connections in your room together so here you got different hdmi outputs uh, to uh, to different screens and this is where as soon as you connect the usb c to your laptop this output the HDMI or one of the display ports uh, will be used. Also, you can connect, as you see here, a network cable uh, to provide LAN. We find here underneath the power. So here you see the, the where you can connect the power. And on the back, you got another USB-C. Now, the default, the hub comes along with a one meter USB-C cable. Uh, and these are all pretty uh, good quality because you need to have the right bandwidth uh, on those uh, on those cables but you can change this cable if you want to so underneath let me show you that USB-C hub you got here one screw and let me show you that when I take that out so you need a very small tool as a screwdriver uh, and make sure you release that screw right here so now you should be able to take this off here you go now underneath you see here again uh, this is the power connector but the other thing which is very interesting is here you will find the usb female connector here you go so here you can see you are able to replace this cable by a longer USB-C to USB-C cable if needed in your environment. And so you could bring this device to the table and, or you could leave it behind the screen and just take a longer cable to put that to the table. And so different options are available. All right, let me put this back together again. Here we go. So. What you will see is I have the flexibility uh, with this dock to change those cables if needed uh, to, uh, to make sure it fits your environment. So that is specific on the dock. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward. Just a lot of inputs, outputs uh, and just combine it to one single cable to your, uh, to your laptop. But can easily be used also with your Studio X environment. Now, we have a power supply. Of course, pretty straightforward, uh, so we're going to connect that. We have the USB-C cable from USB-A. So from USB-A, we're going to USB-C on the X52 uh, to make sure it connects into that uh, device mount, uh, that BYOD mount. And of course, the HDMI cable, because we need to connect the output of the USB-C hub, and uh, we connect that to the HDMI ingest of the X52. Now, let's do that. So first, we need to connect the USB-A cable from this side. So we're going to put that into the dock here. And then we got the other side, this is a USB-C, we're going to put that in the X52. Now, let me show you that. All right, let's go to the back of the X52. We see there at the top, screen output 1. We see there underneath screen output 2. 
we have an HDMI ingest and then we see the USB-C cable. Alright, so here we're gonna put the USB-C cable, make sure it is good connected. Alright, now let's get back to the dock and connect the HDMI cable. So that's the second cable we need there, so we connect this into the dock. That goes into the HDMI output of the dock. Here you go. That is also ready. And now we connect the other end of the cable. We connect that also to the HDMI ingest of the X52. Let's go now to the back again of the X52 and connect my HDMI ingest. So we have now both the HDMI cable and the USB-C cable connected here to the X52. Let's get back to the front and make sure we connect the power. So here I got the power supply of the uh, USB-C dock. We connect that underneath. We need to turn it around. All right, and then we are able to connect it like this and nicely slide that in here. So this is all good now. Turn it back. All right, and the whole setup is now ready to go. So I'm using my X52, not only as a Teams room device, as a native team room device. Now I also want to use it as BYOD device. So I have hooked up now my USB-C dock right here with a single cable, including power, and then the camera, speaker and mic will all be combined over one USB-C cable. Now, let me grab my laptop and show you this. All right, walking into this meeting room now with my laptop. And of course, my battery is always low when you walk into those uh, meetings. So I want to use camera, speaker and mic from the X52 on my laptop. So what you need to do is you connect your USB-C cable here onto the side. All right, now you see immediately that my laptop is receiving power. And as you can see, it's also giving a message there that power is connected. That is perfect. And the other thing what you see now is that the screen is shared. So over the USB-C cable, the set, just one cable, which will go into the hub. It uses here the USB-C and it uses the HDMI ingest of the X52. Make sure we got now everything what we need eh, to start the conference on my laptop. So now let me show you that, for example, with a Zoom meeting. So let me start my Zoom client eh, so you're able to see camera, speaker and mic. Here you go. Let me go into the camera settings. So you always need to check that there. You go onto the video part. And now you see I'm connected to my laptop camera, which is this camera here on the top. But of course, I want to switch to the X52. So in the drop down menu, you see the X52. And immediately, here you go. We're using now the X52 camera, as you see right here. And nicely integrated. The other thing we need to do is you go into the audio part. And there you also need to make sure you select there see the microphone is x52 and the speaker as x52 and so then you're able to use camera speaker and mic from the x52 and again all over this one single cable including the power if you want to including networking and you can provide that to that laptop i think a really really nice solution now, in case you're finished with the meeting, eh, you just unplug the cable, you walk out of the meeting room, and in that case, the X52 will automatically switch back into a native Teams device. So here you have an X70, where you can have a similar device mode BYOD experience as you just seen with the X52. And so I combined here the X70 with the USB-C hub, which is right here. So one cable comes from this USB-C hub with power, camera, speaker, mic, if you want, and networking. You put that into the laptop. And what you will see, it will ask you if you want to jump into the device mode. Here you go. If you don't do that, 
it will automatically share in the meeting. Here you go. So you see now on the screen that is here on my laptop is automatically shared now into a Zoom meeting. Now, if you do want to go into device mode, then you need to go touch panel. You say stop sharing. And there you will see the option start device mode. You click on that. And now immediately you will see the screen as you've seen earlier uh, with the device mode options. And you also see here the screen that I'm sharing. But now specifically, the camera, speaker and mic of the X50 uh, is shared here with my laptop. So let me show you that on the Zoom client. So here on the laptop, I have a Zoom client running. If I then go here into the settings and go into the video, here you go. And you see now I got here the X50 camera right here. Same for the audio. So if I go now to the audio piece and here you see same settings, X70 speaker and X70 audio very nice so you can use camera speaker and mic from the x70 here on your laptop now when you're finished with your meeting you go on the touch panel eh, and say switch back to zoom mode eh, or you can just unplug the cable and eh, to make sure it is out of the device mode eh, and you're working natively again in zoom thanks for watching and hopefully and to see you back in the next video.